Hi, everybody. So I'm super excited. I am on the Facebook for sale pages and I got a notification because I set my settings to where I, if I get a notification when anybody sells yarn, fabric, craft supplies, anything like that on Facebook Marketplace. Well, in the town that I live in, well, close to the town that I live in, um, a woman just listed 81 skeins of yarn. She listed it for 60 or best offer, and I just messaged her to see if she would be able to meet today. And if she can, I'm super excited. Um, I Hi everyone, I'm back. Sorry about cutting that last bit off too quickly. Um, so I just met with the lady and I totally scored the yarn for, I wound up paying her 50. I offered her 40. She came back with a counter offer of 50. Three boxes of yarn, 81 skeins for 50 bucks. Not complaining about that at all. So I'm really excited. And she had told me that if she said, I know I have more and when I come across it, I'll give you a call and, uh, you can just have it and I was so excited so woohoo can never beat a great deal on yarn can ya so I just wanted to share that with you I'm gonna get it home I'm gonna go through it and I'll show you guys what I scored for 50 bucks all right so here it is my big score look at that look at the beauty so it all appears to be acrylic yarn um, which is fine with me. I love it. And a lot of variegated. Sorry about the light. This time of day here in Alaska, it is about 820. And as you can see, sun is shining bright through my windows. But appears to be a lot of variegated. Um, variegated in solids. And then we have variegated in solids in this one as well. This one here, it's kind of cool. It's brand new. Still in the, sorry about all the crinkling. I mean, it's, um, it is old school Red Heart. Look at that label. But I don't even care. That's, there's two of those. So I got 12 of those. And then some of these colors are just amazing. Like, look at this one. Look at how cute. I mean, some of them are just partials, little skeins, red heart for kids. Looks like cotton candy, that one. Some of these colors are just beautiful, though. Look at, she had a partially done scarf, bobble stitch. That's cute. I might have to honor, honor her project and finish it. Uh, pink camo, red heart pink camo. Two and a half of those. Look at this. Look how cute this color is. I have some great, great ideas for some of these variegated yarns. And Billy, Crafty Floridian, I'm going to be making something super special out of some of these really cute colored yarns for the Kids Hat Charity. So I was really excited to get some of this yarn because I have some really fantastic ideas. This is a real pretty color. What is this color called? I don't see it on here. It just has a Dyla on it. Oh, Monet. That is gorgeous. Pinks and purples. That's beautiful. I love it. Oops, partials. There's a lot of partial skeins, which is fine with me. For what I'm going to use this yarn for, it's, it's okay. And what I meant to talk about earlier, when I said I have an idea for some future projects that I'm going to discuss, um, or future plans. I'll discuss that in another video, but a lot of this yarn is going to come in really handy for some of those projects that I was going to discuss with you. Oh, look at that one. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. I love colors. I'm all about bright, light and bright. I have a great idea. I have somebody in mind for this um, variegated camo colored yarn. I'm going to make something really awesome for somebody I have, sorry about that, uh, in mind for that. But, uh, 
Yeah, some of this is just so stinking cute. Pinks. Wintuck. I mean, this is old school yarn, but look at how cute it is. I just love these colors. I'll try to get out of the sun. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, as you can see, I love color. My carpet's colorful. I painted this yellow. Those are all the projects I was showing you folks the other day. Um, don't mind my hot mess over here. Those are literally all projects and yarn in those bags. Um, and yeah, see color, my funky, my funky folk art giraffe over there. And then my green side tables. I'm all about the color. I love it. It's funky. The funkier, the better. I got, see my funky little girl vases I have up top there. <laughs> all right, scroll back, you know, that will make you sick. So I'm going to try to move slow. Yeah. Funky slip covers. I made those slip covers, uh, those envelope pillow style covers on those three pillows. Um, but back to the yarn, the good stuff, the stuff we love. There is some, uh, looks like li uh, the Lion Brand Home Spun Yarn. I think I have this color. I do. I believe I have this color over there on that shelf. Those three cubes, one, two, three, those three cubes had carry all my homespun yarn. I use a lot of it. I love it. Um, this is another pink camo. It's a really pretty color, too. Um, yeah, some of these color. Oh, look at that mess. A lot of people are like, oh, I hate tangles. I don't even care. I find it therapeutic, actually, to, to undo tangles. Family members recruit me and friends recruit me to do... Um, Untangle Christmas lights. <laughs> oh, I got a couple of those. That's nice. I, I love it when there's a ball band because then I know, I mean, look at this is an old yarn. Check it out. Super Value DuPont Acrylic. What's the color on this one, does it say? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it does. It's called Mauve, Mauve Ombre. So that looks, in this box, there appears to be about three or four of those. And then I love this. I got some Christmas colors there, I can see. Um, look at that one, that one's beautiful too. Love these colors. What is this one called? Wedgwoods, that's pretty. This one's pretty too. I think I've seen this color before. I think it's called Ocean, I do believe. So even though, let's see, sorry, keep turning, yep, Ocean. That one's called Ocean. Those are beautiful colors, love that. There's two of those. Um, I don't know what color this is, but oh my gosh, how funky and fun for a kid's hat. Loving this pink, almost empty skein. This is called Candy Print by Red Heart. That's pretty. It's a pretty color. Oh my goodness, I haven't heard of this one. Oh, Caron, yeah, I've heard of that one. Caron Perfect Match. That's a really pretty color. Look at those cute colors. <coughs> and then this one, Craft Smart. Oh, I don't think I've heard of Craft Smart or Crafts, Craft Smart. What color is this? Orchid Mist. Is this that Michaels brand yarn? It might be. I don't get a chance to get to Michaels very often. Like I said, it's a three hour drive for me, so I don't go there too often. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Look at the colors in that. Look at those pinks, blues, purples, greens. I wonder if that's more of that, like, Monet style. It looks like it might be more of that Monet that I had in the other box there. I just love it. These are really pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of, um... Yeah, this is pretty, too. That looks beachy. With the tans and the creams and the blues. That's beautiful. Yeah, but not a bad deal. 81... Things of yarn. Here's some Lion Brand 
Vanna's Choice. That's pretty, that pink color. Oh, she paid $2 for it somewhere. Maybe on clearance, huh? This is called Rose Mist. That's a pretty color. But yeah, just all sorts of beautiful colors in here. I've got so many ideas brewing through my brain. Like I said, I always wish I was an octopus so that I can do a thousand projects at once. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. If I was an octopus, I could do four projects at once and bang them all out. So that's it. That is the haul. Uh, you know what my problem is? My problem is I far too much enjoy starting new projects. I do. I'm always seeing new patterns on a website, on Ravelry or something like that, or watching YouTube and all the amazing, talented new people I've discovered in the past, you know, few weeks or so. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna make that. I wanna make that. Oh, I got that kind of yarn. I wanna make that. And instead of concentrating on all the projects I currently have going and completing those, I constantly am starting new ones, constantly trying new stitches and things like that. That's, I just enjoy it so much. I do. I showed you guys my pile of project bags. I mean, they're all over the house, all over the house. I got some in the bedroom, you know, they're everywhere. My poor husband, he's, I seriously have the best husband ever. He is so patient and tolerant and supportive of my hobbies, my craft, my passion, what I love to do. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. My big score. I don't do that very often, buy, buy yarn off of uh, the website, Facebook Marketplace or anything like that, because you just never know what you're going to get. But this lady was really, really, really good and um, precise about, hey, I've got dogs. If you're allergic, you don't want this yarn, you know. And her pictures were beautiful. She took great pictures. I'm looking through a pattern book here. Uh, sorry if I'm distracting. <clears throat> I do have uh, some charity projects I want to be working on. And I'm going to be using some of this yarn for that. And I also have a plan for the future, for the holidays, of a project. I've been thinking about it for like two years. And I've been telling my husband about it and some of my friends that uh, locally here that crochet or knit. And they all think it's a great idea. But when it comes down to actually doing it, you know, because we're all busy. We all have things going on in our life. You know, kids and work and family and responsibilities and outside activities. And it just seems like the plan never follows through. But this year, I'm going to be super diligent and do this. I'm going to get together with some local people and really stay on top of it and be diligent about completing this. This is something, like I said, I wanted to do. And, and that's going to be a whole separate video. I'll, I'll, it's going to be a future video, and I'll discuss more in depth what that is. Um, it'll be a whole separate video in itself. But yeah, wanted to share my yarn haul with you guys. Um, I was super excited. I couldn't wait. Um, sorry, I hate that. Um, 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 sorry. I try not to do it. I have, I, I have to consciously think of that and not, not say um anyway I gotta figure out I'm gonna go and figure out and try to figure out how to piece all of these little video clips together to make one sort of decent <laughs> video I record on my iPad I record on my iPhone I have a GoPro I just got it not too long ago well it's not mine it's my husband's I actually got it for him for Christmas I think but I haven't even really messed with it so once I go figure that out maybe that'll be a better quality sound and better quality picture but I gotta go figure out how to piece all these little short clips together and get this posted and show you guys my haul anyways I hope you guys like videos like this I know I love seeing other shopping hauls you know other people's scores and finds seeing what kind of deals they find out there um, I love the Hobby Lobby Joann's Michael's AC Moore even the online one the ice yarns Ho hobby and hobium and I love all that stuff I love watching that. I don't have the closest Michaels or, oh, what's the other one? Anyways, the closest uh, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, anything 
well, there's not even a Hobby Lobby in my state, not in my whole state. We don't have one. But the closest Michaels to me is three hours away, so I don't get there very often at all. I have a, uh, I don't have an AC more either. No, nope. no wares. Um, but I have a Joann's, and I do shop there, and then a store called Fred Meyers, uh, Beeman's Variety. They have a very small section of yarn. So there are some local places here that I like to go, and there's some other places that are not too far away, like in Seward, Alaska, there is a yarn shop there called the uh, Fly and Skein. <laughs> um, and there's a place in Anchorage called Far North, oh, I don't want to get it wrong, Far North, I will have to post the link in the description below. You guys can check that out if you want. But whatever kind of shopping hauls people do, I love that kind of stuff. I do. I love that kind of stuff. Um, it's nice to see what else is out there, like I said. Just prices they're getting, uh, stuff on sale. If you can order online, which you can for most places, which is awesome. The thing I discovered a lot is a lot of places um, won't, well, they'll ship to Alaska, but it's really expensive. They act like we're some foreign country or something like that. So that's kind of frustrating. I know on eBay, uh, there was a, f a few vendors on eBay that refused to ship here at all. Like, like we're not part of the United States. They're like, sorry, we only ship to the United States. I'm like, last I checked, uh, we are part of the United States. <laughs> I've even offered to pay the shipping. And they're like, no, sorry, we don't ship to Alaska. I've never heard of a a place not shipping to somewhere. It's bizarre. I'm like, I can get something from all the way across the country or across the globe, but you know, you won't ship here. Anyway, let me know if you guys uh, like this kind of video. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I would. And keep watching guys. I like it. I appreciate it. Appreciate all my new subscribers and and people that are commenting and saying such lovely, nice things on my YouTube channel. I'll keep uh, posting more soon, guys. Uh, I have a tutorial in the works. A couple people mentioned in my previous video that they would actually like to see a tutorial. Um, I started working on that. I've got part of it filmed. And I will be completing the filming on that probably tomorrow. And then I'll get that posted as well. So, thank you, guys. Appreciate you all. I do. Um, keep watching. And until then, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Chat at you later, guys. Bye.